It goes forward, okay? Um, it's really pretty easy to learn this one. You do it in multiple phases, right? You do it something really slow. So go through like walk, walk around a little bit more, walk around a little bit more. So when you're first getting used to it, it just kind of goes around up here, walk around. Bum, bum, bum. Walk around. There it goes. Good, nice. You gotta keep the hand connection with the left hand. Right? A little bit more. There it goes. A little bit more. A little bit higher. A little bit more. Hey, that's a little too much. Come on. Now. A little more. And so on. So, um, it, you know, it's one of those ones that you can build up to pretty easy until eventually you start to punch your shoulder and you get a lot of height. Okay? But do you remember yesterday when we were doing those frog jump toss out things? Right? The most important part here is what the girl is doing with her hips while she's in the air. Even though she's turning and flying through the air, her hips are always square to the ground. So do a really high one. Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to do a little different demo where I just pick without the flip part. Just watch her body position. You ready? Yeah. See that? That's what it, that's what they that's how they work, right? It doesn't matter which direction you're going or how you go. All I'm doing is instead of carrying around, I'm doing this. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice and straight, right? At any time, one of her shoulders is just as high off the ground as the other one. So is her hips, you know? She's never like this in the air, right? When you're walking it, you know, it gives the follower a chance to kind of, you know, put her feet on the ground and stuff. So, I mean, to, anyway, it's easy to figure out. If it gives the follower, it's easy one to teach, it's easy one to practice. You can almost do this on your own, you know, almost without a spotter, because it's just here. Here and then here and then here and here and here and eventually it gets higher and higher and higher. Right? Okay, so let's talk about the details. First thing is the hand grip. This is everything. Okay? Leader shoots together. Bam. Shoot together. Okay? Here we go. Now as she comes in, just walk around, duck down, just duck down, walk around. What happens? Maintain the connection here with this hand, and she goes over. Is that right? No, no, it goes like this. What the hell are you doing? This is a stop sign grip, Rich. This one. Not the gun grip. Stop sign. Okay? So she shoots the gun. I grab on top. And as she does the turn, we end in a closed position for a swing out. So, stop sign. Try again. Now watch again. So, with this grip, you practice, you just walk around, goes around, and you're in a close position for swing out. Okay, so the next time, yeah, let's do no, no hand switching for this class today, okay? Um, so as you walk around here, stop for a second. What's Rich doing right now? Posting. What's she doing? I'm sorry, she's posting, he's creating a platform for her to post off of. Okay? So do a really low one with a little post. Nice low one, little post. Okay. Now actually throw it with a really high post. What you're going to see is as he does this, he's going to pick up the whole way as high as he can while he's doing the aerial pull. Pick his post up. Okay. Do it again. Nice and high. Bump, bump, hop. See? I actually push up this way so that they can see the. Yeah. <laughs> Post higher with your left hand so they can see it. Demo with a really high post. Bum, bum, ba. See? There it goes. It goes up. Alright, so you guys understand? Here. Ba da, ba. Here. Ba da, ba. Walk around, walk around. Okay, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm pushing up, 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 up. Ha! And then you land. Try it again. Goes a little bit further around. A little bit further around. Keep your hips over the ground. She's doing it just fine. A little bit further. A little bit further. Ready? Again. Okay. I'll try to go higher. Okay, so it just goes up and up and up. Okay? Um, so again, it's not
That kind of thing. Because if, if the follow is doing this right, she's going to hit here with a lot of force. And if the lead doesn't, yeah. Yeah, if the lead doesn't feel that, you know, know that's coming and punch forward on his own to counteract that, he's going to go back. And so at first, I like to, you know, check that out as far as the spot goes. Yeah. <laughs> and then once they get further going, she's going to be over there as the other spot so she doesn't fall on her butt on the landing.
If your follower hits down here, instead of up here, instead of on the shoulder, it's the kind of thing that will put the leader in the hospital. I should know three cortisone shots, two MRIs, you know, and I, every time I, the first time I do it, every time I the first shoulder throw every really day, it's crack, right? So you do not, the chicken wing thing, thank you for mentioning, we should, should sit at the beginning of the class. You know, you keep that chicken wing closed, all right? If you open it up, you're really gonna hurt your guy, all right? All things that are like this. Anyway, uh, it is time for lunch.